Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Don Blink, and we're here playing a little bit of Mass Effect 1. What really upsets me is that I was so prepared to do a live stream for you, and then all my cr everything went to crap really quick and like, I don't know. That's 12 to 5, I should say, about an hour and a half. But, um, you know, here we are back in Mass Effect, back facing that bitch. Uh, I don't like it. For some reason, I can't kill her. I have it, I just lowered my, um, I just lowered everything by, by one uh, difficulty level. level. So, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully... Hopefully we can kill her now, alright? Jeez. Her children were to be ours. Raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Yes, I have. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask. She just call me insolent. Oh, what a... mm. I'm super annoyed right now. I just I can't believe that I have to record this. I wanted to live stream so bad. I was like, oh yes, first live stream ever. It'll be so cool and so fun. But now, then, then everything is said. Nope, we're just not gonna be your friends for that. You're gonna have to just, just go. Uh, her power level just dropped by half. What is going on here? I don't remember her being this easy. Something's wrong. We are so gonna get our butts kicked soon. Not yet, apparently. It's gonna happen, though, guys. Just, just wait. It's... I think something's wrong. There was always four waves. Oh, probably because I dropped it down by by the one difficulty level. It's now just a one wave. Also, my gun does like four, like three hundred damage or some something like that. It's way overpowered compared to the level of all my enemies. Yes! This is ridiculously easy all of a sudden. Oh, damn. Why have I been playing this on insanity? I'm insane! Ah, uh, this is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. I expected better from Asari Commandos. I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. Really quick, before we do anything else, there's construction going on outside of my house, so if you hear any, like, thudding or vibrating, uh, yeah, that's that's the construction crew outside. So, shake your fist at them, leave a hateful comment for them, I don't care. Uh, just, uh... Just... Forget it. Just they, they're just construction. You chose to join with Saren. You just got more than you bargained for. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind, to beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless, nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? Four thousand years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it. 
Please. There isn't much time. I transmitted the coordinates to Saren before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Okay. Here we go. Good run. Sorry, I'm gonna do some more scary. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this is dumb. Oh, this is dumb. Oh, this is stupid. Run away. See, look at this. I don't know what I'm doing. I got this, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We, to we totally got it. Level up, too. Nice. How beautiful. Alright. Oh, this is the farthest I've ever made it. I'm still probably gonna get my butt kicked. Like, super, superbly bad. It's because for some reason she is just an absolute B word at it. I have done everything from switching up all my uh, teammates. Just when that happens. You immediately go down and then it takes forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm hungry and I want some donuts. <laughs> Lunch time. Damn it. <laughs> at least I'm not doing this at 2 a.m. At least it's noon, right? And I don't work tomorrow, so look at that. I'll play Mass Effect 2 right away. Mm hmm. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it. I don't want to listen to it again. Screw it. He sent me here. Shut up. 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 Shut Warper! Warper! Yes! Oh, now we just gotta kill the commandos and then we can stop this pathetic thing we call a game. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. Right. Right. Let's already do that. I forgot. Um. Oh. Oh. Get the- Get over here! Come on! I just wanna be your friend. Why doesn't it allow me to shoot? Of course! Of course! You see? And I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen again, so it's gonna be Shepard. Boom! We finally did it! I'm surprised I got this far out of insanity and then had to bow out because I suck. Whatever. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. First you turn on the council, now on Saren. You're not loyal to anything, are you? I suppose that is how history will know me. No light. They always said there would be a... Uh... Oh, well, that's upsetting. She died. She totally deserved it too. She was being mean. She wouldn't die. Sorry, I have really upsetting feelings about this. She was being mean to me. She kept shooting me, and I kept dying, and she wouldn't. Therefore, she need she deserved that. She deserved death. She totally deserved it. 
I'm glad I was the one to bring it upon her. Plus, like I said, my uh, my weapon does like 300 damage, which is awesome because, like, the moment I dropped it, I immediately got this gun, and I'm like, well, if I would have gotten this in Sandy, things probably would have been, would've been a tad bit better. I don't know if they would have been completely better. They would have been probably a little bit better than what they have been going for me. But, oh well, we have it now. And we're absolutely wrecking everything. Which I'm fine with. Just because it's, it's a rifle that wrecks everything. Oh, no. Who's ready to make the hardest choice in life ever? I know I am. Oh, that thing's bucking. I thought I killed it dead. Kill it dead again, Shepard. Right in the head. Right in the eyes. Right between the eyes. Right there. Right, just right there. Shepard. Sh Shepard. Shepard. No! <gasps> I don't care. I played this like a million times. Now. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. The Krogan wiped the Rachni out a thousand years ago. The sky is quiet now. Our mother's songs are lost. And those who slew us now walk to meet the same fate. We're not gonna die, bitch. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I'm more than willing to wipe them out. Such discordance bodes ill for what we must compose here. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you say? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. If you kill her, you consign an entire race to death. We should let the Citadel Council decide her fate. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence. All right, so for those of you who haven't played the other, the I'm sorry, the last game because that's actually the last one they're featured in the the second one they're featured in. Um, it's. I don't want to spoil anything, but seriously though, um, the Rachni are the Rachni were um, a very powerful race of alien spider-like things, I guess, and uh, they they almost destroyed everything in the galaxy. And the Krogan saved everybody's asses because they're so strong and powerful. The Krogan were uplifted to destroy the enemies of all the alien races, the Rachni. So that's why the Krogan are pissed, and that's why the Genophage happened. Are you a survivor? Short story. A However, if I save the queen here, then I could potentially have an ally in the third game. Speaking of which, spoiler alert: if you're not getting it by now, you're definitely not getting it later. Spoiler alert: right here, right now. If I save the Rachni queen here, then that means I can have a potential ally in the third game. I actually did kill her once in one of my playthroughs, and you still you, you couldn't get the Rachni as a playable at, or I guess as an ally to assist with the 
Crucible Project. Again, still in a spoiler alert mode. And uh, you just had to fight the Rachni, which I suppose the Rachni, somehow the Rachni got off Novaria. Don't know how. But the Rachni got off Novaria. They were captured by the Reapers, turned into these Reaper Ravenger things, whatever you want to call them. And then and now, now you're fighting them in the game. game. So, two options exist. exist. I, Either I appease the uh, Rex, I just kill the damn thing, thing make, make him happy. And then, and then I don't have an ally to get in the third game. game. Or, here's the big one. one. Love this one because it was awesome. I get that, I get that next ally. Right now, because save them now, save them later, right? They owe me double. And then, and then life's just happening for me, right? That is, it's always the better option to just save the race that wants to kill everything. Just because when you save them, they'll, they'll regret not. Bleh, bleh. Thoughts are not forming properly in my head right now. Anyhow. I either peace with Rex or I peace with uh, Garrus. Love Garrus's idea to let the council decide, but the council's gonna say, screw it, let the damn thing die. So, I'm Commander Shepard. I won't destroy your entire race. Boom. You'll go free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards, so maybe you don't get it. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah ha! Very subtle, by I'd the way. I'd like to have the Rachni on our side in the future. <laughs> Do what you want. Oh my god, my people very will clean fucking up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. Very subtle. We will Love it. Sing of your Absolutely subtle. Good job, GG Bioware. Love you guys so much. Mm. Are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. Rex, in like two games, you'll start writing songs about me because I'm a badass hero. What's the difference? I'm gonna have songs being sung about, about me throughout the entire galaxy. Ah, oh, right, Paragon points exist. Speaking of which, that actually offset the renegade points I got from killing off the entire um, security force that was protecting the protecting the people here. So, yeah, huh, that's funny. funny. Anyways, that's what we were doing before. Time to go uh, back here. And yes, I'm aware. I keep my mouth open. Just, just forgive me for that. Just, I don't know why I feel like my jaw is like heavier than my mouth. It's like lead is sitting in there. Okay, just kidding. But no, yeah, sorry guys, I decided to make up for the uh, broken, 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 the broken recording session and the live stream session because it was just. I don't know why, everything was set up so perfectly, I had everything ready on YouTube, and then YouTube says that they're doing something with their uh, stream beta, and it's like, oh, okay, so I'll just stream to Twitch. And then Twitch wouldn't allow me to stream because uh, the, way I have it, the way I have it set up is I have it going, or my, um, my PS3 is set up to play um, with... The old uh, YGB cords, the yellow or YRB, YRB, yellow, red, white. You know what? Let's just call them composite cords because that's what they are. They're actually called composite cords. If you don't know what those are, it's that little three-pronged, weird-looking thing that you'd have set up into your uh, computer or computer what TV back in like the uh, early 2000s. Right. Before the time of HD, that that's that's what I should say. Uh, this was back before the time of HD, so yeah. <clears throat> I need to switch my gun. There we go. That's what I want. Are you here to secure the situation? 
If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings. But what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, shut up. The Rachni had ships? I'm sorry, in all the lore I've read, it says that they travel in like these weird dust cloud things. But they have ships? I need to look at this one. I'm calling bullcrap on this. Uh, give me like five minutes to just, just look this up here. here. Look, it's a keyboard. Oh, that was my headphones. Ow. Google. Crack nine ships. Huh! <laughs> the Rachni actually had ships. Okay. Okay, well, well yeah, I, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll put. I'll actually put up a picture um, in the video somewhere. Probably in the center here, just because that's actually interesting. I didn't know the Rachni had ships. I, out of all the lore I've read, it was like these little dust cloud things they always wrote in, so it's interesting finding new things out every day. And because I've read this a million times, I've like learned all the words, and I guess I missed the Rachni ship part. They should have destroyed it. Why hatch it? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I was to tell you the opposite. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, Shotgun! There we go. Bitch. There we go. Alright. So, time to go and kill the black that are on the very because. Why not? I mean, they suck anyways. They're Rachni. Captain, I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code. I'm gonna mumble, mumble something. Yeah, let's, let's mumble something. Uh, sick semper turret. <laughs> That is not the correct code. All right. Well, that was funny. Anyways. I'm sorry, but I code input. And then we do one of these because um, I ain't sticking around. Screw it. Run. Just run. Ow! <laughs> they hurt. 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 Okay, come on. Everybody in. Everybody's in. Oh yes. The great infamy of Dawn to Blink, we have survived! Ah ha ha! Ooh, explosions. There we go. Alright, we're alive. Garrus is almost dead. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. That was awesome. Alright, time to go. It's time to go and see what else we can do in the galaxy.
because honestly, I don't know why I didn't think of tearing down. I wanted to get this done on insanity, not on stupid friggin'. I don't like hardcore. Everything dies too easily, apparently. You all suck. Everything's dying too easily now. It's all your fault, Garrison Rex. You guys are losers. Alright, so here's the plan for today, guys. I'm just gonna record the alarm and take me to get everything done. Um. Yeah. It's unfortunate. We need to hurry, Commander. My. Benezia said she transmitted the Mew Relay's coordinates to Saren. He may have already gone through. We can't follow. That relay's inside the Terminus systems. They're not fond of Alliance ships over there, or Spectre. The conduit's on Islas. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren probably has his whole fleet in orbit around Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. They will assemble a fleet to accompany you. It is our only hope. Crew dismissed. Joker, alert the Council. Tell them everything. Can we not do that? I actually like option I two of just lone wolfing it. You know, being a lone wolf is fun. Not when the council is involved, though. But the the whole lone wolf thing is awesome. Awesome idea, Shepard. Let's do it without the council. Con council, 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 the council, Not the council, the council. Those two words are so similar. I keep messing them up. Just like that, messing, mixing. <laughs> they're. they're <laughs> They're both very similar things, and I can't I can't pronounce them properly. Ah, uh, this is this is why you need a brain to play video games, not a uh, just bronze, because uh, at least a brain gives you some sort of um intellect and some sort of thinking power when you're playing them. As where when you're just playing them with bronze, not a very good idea. However, I don't have either. I just say screw it. We're gonna go lone wolf and shoot everything. Then it gets me killed. So, yeah. Get on me, right? Anyways, we're gonna go talk to Ashley really quick. See? See what's up. See what's up. Let's go talk to my bae. Okay. Certain words that should not be said. Bae. Boo. Hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask him. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. Not at all, it's it is. Years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason. The crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. 
Sometimes 